guys. I know it's been a while, but I finally come up with some new material. Yay, applaud, yeah, yeah. Basically, it's been a long time, I've been really busy, I've completed my second year at university, and I'm now looking for a placement opportunity with a property company. So I'm very, very, very busy. But, I've managed to get some time together, and I know exactly how I'm going to make my comeback. Now, apart from the fact that I've hit 50,000 views, I've also been watched 1,500 times in the last 30 days. I just want to thank all my fans, and my friends and family for watching me. It's glad to know that people are still interested in what I've got to say and my material. So in order to um, repay you all, I've come up with some new, more material and this is basically about Big Brother. Now, unless you live under a rock, you would have seen all the newspapers, you'd have seen the magazine articles, you'd have seen the TV, you'd have seen the news, you'd have seen everything at the moment is talking about Big Brother and how they had shit views on Friday or the first eviction and so on and so forth but let me get you all up to date up to speed with what's been going on who's in and who's out and then I'll give you my little you know bit on the side as it were because after all I am Jace and to be honest I should have been in the Big Brother house anyway so for this year's Big Brother 12 we started off with 16 contestants uh, first one well I'm not going to do an order of going in I'm just doing alphabetical order and whatever whatever so, Aaron. Now, he's the model. Uh, he thinks he's it that a bag of chips. He thinks he can get all the ladies. He takes the top off first, like, second day in. No. Go back to Primark. Go get a one-piece and keep your mouth shut. Anyway. No, I see he's got a one-piece. To be honest, I hand that to him, actually, because I've got one. And they're really sick, so get one. What I'm really upset about, though, personally, is Adam. Now, as you know, he's the black guy, the only black guy in the house, which is also, I'm quite a bit like, hmm, you know, a bit, you know, like, yeah, like, I just thought that maybe they should have put, you know, another black guy in there, maybe two, three, just a, a bit more, like, I feel that the black people are just a minority, it's just like him and Siobhan, like, she's a black woman and she's a bit loud, boisterous, I think she is uh, one of the oldest as well, like I said, fourth oldest or whatever, but like, what's going on? And then, to make matters worse, like, this dude's been in prison before for like, eight months, robbery, breaking and entering, like, literally... You name it, he's done it, and he's been in prison for it for eight odd months. So, I can't explain as to why Big Brother would now put a, a villain, a convicted felon, in the house. Anyway, anyway, anyway. You've got Ashley. She's the Essex girl. She's come, you know, I'm from Essex. Shut up. I have got to say effing and everything, everything I say. Everything's effing, effing, effing. Nah, bitch. Wash your mouth out, go back, read a book, learn your dictionary, and then come back and talk to me. No one can have a conversation with you if all you've been shouting out profanities and shit like that. No, not necessary. Cool. As long as you've got that in your head, we're good. We'll move on from this. Benedict is the, you know, ex-teacher, you know, politics major, whatever who's also a cum porn actor. Which, to be honest, like, is a cool dude. I actually have nothing bad to say about him at the moment in time. That may change. Caroline. And she's the gap year student who, I can't explain, she's from Surrey, but she can't seem to afford a brush. Have you seen her hair? She looks like, as if to say, you know, you know when you go into, like, like, you're walking towards... Uh, you know, a Boeing 757 aeroplane and you're going straight to their propellers and your hair gets sucked in and she just walked out as if to say she's ready for a night out. Nah, bitch. Brush your hair. When you're done, clip that shit up. Don't leave it all out. Like, you just look a mess. You look a mess. Like, seriously. But we'll see how it goes. This is just, this is just me giving you guys a rundown. Don't take what I'm saying as literal fact. Like, this is just my opinion of them. First up, first serve. Like, I'm not judging them, but this is just what I've seen is, you know, what you see is what you get kind of thing. And this is how I'm telling you how I saw it. So, Chris 
is the squeaky little bailiff. You know, I'm a bailiff boy. I'm from Essex as well. You know, what fuck? Like, he's kind of cool, actually. And the reason why I tell you that he's kind of cool is, in episode four, I can't explain, this boy went in. He went in on Luke S. And then he was like, you don't know me. You only know me for about an hour. Da -da 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 -da. Straight on Becky, the new housemate, who I'll tell you about in a bit. Straight away, and I'm like, do you know what? I found a, a new respect for this boy. A new respect for him. Seriously, stand up for what you believe in, no matter what. And Chris, you're a great advocate for that, and I thank you. Connor's the personal trainer. He's okay, but he come in like, you know, in his little welcome video thing, you know, people find me arrogant, whatever, whatever. It's, we find you arrogant because you behave that way, you know? You, you work out like, da, 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 da. but I'm sure we'll go over it, it's fine. Dina. Now, as you know, she was the first housemate to enter by random, apparently. And um, she also was immune from the first eviction, but she then had to pick three people to be evicted, which then she chose um, Lydia, the dancer, who's also got a famous husband or some shit. Um, she chose Victoria for Evil Eyes, which I'm not being funny, she had like her eyebrows up here, like it was kind of like evil, like ah. So maybe I could agree. That's hilarious though. And she was also Connor because he's just arrogant. And obviously as we know, or you should know by now, Victoria did get evicted. She was the one with the lowest amount of votes to stay, so she left. Connor had the highest amount of votes and Lydia was just like neutral, so it's cool. But Dina, I haven't really seen much of her. Like, first of all, she was like, oh, I have no friends. I have no friends. Bitch, talk to people. You sit in your room, yeah, like you're the queen, the princess of the world. You know, talk to people. These other girls and guys don't talk to the people. Like, don't just exclude yourself or just leave. People like me, people like other people who are watching me right now would have wanted to be in the Big Brother house and then you come up here like as if to say you run shit. Nah, bitch, sit down. Like, Laura is, um... Now, when she first walked in the house, I was like, oh, she's the ideal girl, she's fit, like, she's got blonde hair, blue eyes, like, oh my god, she does karate, like, I'm a black belt in karate as well. She's done all these martial arts, she's a world champion, blah, 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 I could, like, name it all off, she's from Jersey Island, it's only 9 by 5 like, I was like, this girl is, like, wifey material, until she opened her mouth. <laughs> oh, you're so strong. <laughs> Bitch, like, what is... Do you need some limpset? Like, some thick honey? Something to just... Get that frog out of your mouth. Like, jeez. Luke A, that's the one that used to be a transsexual. No. Used to be a girl. Still has a vagina. Has no boobs. But he's an amazing person. Now, I actually really want to hand it to you, to Big Brother, for putting someone like him in there. Because it really has now opened our eyes to that sort of thing. And I, I'm open for it. Like, I'm not going to change my sex anytime soon. Like, I'm happy being a boy. But for those who maybe did have issues with their recognising their gender and, you know, I thought about it, this is the perfect thing. So he... He's a perfect person to start a charity, maybe. He could be a leader in some sort of thing. I know that after the episode, after this show, he will do something major in that sort of field. Luke S. He's the one that Chris went in on, and I can't, ugh, I can't explain. Absolutely. He thinks he's Joey Essex off Liverpool, you know? And it's like, dude, you're not. You're 25, for one. Two, when are you going to grow up? When are you going to get a real job? Club promoting, and for people like me, who are also students because we're working towards a career, but while we're at uni, we need some money on the side, we promote for a club. That's what you do. You don't do it for a living. You don't do it for a living. I'm sorry, no. Anyway, he thinks he's at the bag of chips, but I can't wait. We'll just see how things go. Wait till they have to pick their food for the shopping, that's gonna be a laugh. Lydia, now she reminds me of Jessie J. 
Loud mouth, what man? Who the fuck? When did I fucking say that? I never said that I was famous. I have a famous husband, but I never said I was famous. To be honest, I want to see more of her. I, I feel that she's got a spark in there. I don't know, like, if someone gets on her bad side, she'll go in. She needs to stop the crying though. Like, you're going in there to be your own person, to be out of your husband who's famous or fiance who's famous shadow. Then do that, be that. Don't be crying, don't be hiding shadows, be who you are. Right, Rebecca, she's the new girl, proper loud. What I do like about her though is, she says, you know what, she's recognised that she's a, a big girl and she's taking it on her shoulders. She don't care what anyone has to say. She's just moving on with her life. So do you know what, call me fat, I am fat what? And that's also a good thing. So I hope all those viewers out there who feel bullied, whatever, no matter what your bullies say about you, say, look, I don't want to like discriminate, but if someone says, I don't know, you're ginger or you're fat or whatever, just take it, all right, yeah, sorry, I'm on what? What next? Like, move on, do you know what I mean? So just, that's just a, a point I think I should put out there for you guys to hear. Sarah, she's the model. She's really pretty. She's also a student. Um... I personally thought that she would be probably getting with, I don't know, maybe the porn star, maybe Luke, like Luke S. But she said she kind of likes a chubby kid, like she's kind of like Chris. So, and Chris said he liked her as well, and Aaron really fancies her. So, I mean, I don't know, we'll see how things pan out later on in time. As for Scott, he's the gay posh one. Oh my God. When he first walked in, I was like... He's like a cool lad, you know, you'd want to hang out with him because he's posh. But then when you realise, like, he, he's kind of kind of cool dude, but I feel kind of sorry for him because he's the only gay in the village somewhat, you know? And Big Brother, like, what have you done? You should have put at least one more in so we could see if anything blossoms. Like, I know he fancies Aaron to bits, but I don't think anything's going to happen there. You should have put another gay in there and see how that panned out, you know? But we'll take it from there. Siobhan's the black girl. Now, I spoke about her briefly earlier on when I was talking about Adam. She's the only other black girl, which I thought... I don't know, maybe. It's not too bad, but... She's not even loud mouth. Like, she's making herself the mother figure. Like, after Chris had the argument and sort of patched things out with what's his name, he, she sort of went back and went to Chris and sort of sat down with him and was like... Yeah, come to mummy, hug mummy, you know, be you, da 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 do you, rah rah rah. Alright, like, cool, but what is there more about you? You go in your VT, like your video thing before, and you're like, yeah, I'm me and I'm what, da 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 da. Although you did really well in the task though, Siobhan, I must admit, I was in stitches, you killed me. And Victoria, last but not least, Victoria, she was evicted, so there's not much to say about her. She didn't really fight her ground. I feel to say that if she knew that half the time people are playing the game and she knew that it's a game, you wouldn't go to your brother unless you knew you were winning the money. And winning the money is being part of the game. Yeah. So she knew it was a game all along, but yet she was acting like, no, no, I can't be fake. Yeah. The last night before you got your ass kicked out, you went topless. What are you trying to do? Seeking attention? What? Stop it. So... That's the rundown of all the characters, guys. This is just the first video, although it is a bit like, you know, it's four days old. Tonight, as in Sunday night, I'll make sure I've got a new one for you around about 10 o'clock-ish. But this is the start of something new. And this is Jace's bit on the side. Thanks for watching.